Hey guys, in this tutorial I will teach you a component in a Laravel ad. In a previous part we have seen how to install our Laravel application. So this is my blog and there is a lots of files and folders of our Laravel ad. And here we will create our component. So component is just simply a reusable code and reusable segment. So we can use, we can reuse to anywhere. Okay, in a model, in a view, in a controller, anywhere you can use so uh let's run this application and understand a component so just type it cmd and to run application uh laravel uh, provides a very simple command which is php artisan and serve and it enter so this is a url we can go through let's copy it here and paste it here so this is a default view default page so we need to create a two views two more views to understand a component so let's go to resources go to views and here we will create our views to understand a component so let's make it two components sign up let's uh, for blade blad blade.php so this is a sign up and let's copy this one and paste it here and let's rename it this is for just sign in and um, remove this from here sign in dot blade dot php so now we have a two views but we didn't uh, make a route make a route make a path we didn't make a any route uh, to deliver these files in a url okay so we didn't uh, access those files sign in and sign up now it's showing a 404 uh, not found page so what we have to do we need to define uh, our routes so go to routes and here is a web.php let's drag it here and drop it here let's zoom in so you can see clearly and here we will uh, ro route and view and just pass single quotation or double quotation and uh, url is a sign in and our view and our view name is sign in sign in let's copy let's copy one more time for sign up let's copy and paste it here and this is for sign up let's copy and paste it here so now we have a two pages sign in and sign up so this is sign in page and uh, sign up sign sign up but uh, both the files both the views doesn't have any html so let me put resources uh, let me put html so there are uh, two files sign in and sign up let's drag it here and drop it here and a little bit zoom in so this is just for sign in page so h1 and sign sig in sign in page and sign in view let's copy and paste it here so this is just for sign up page okay and when you refresh you can see sign up and sign in So guys you can see uh, we have a set our roots and uh, uh, we have created a views and uh, we are setting up uh, our routes so now we need to create a component okay so to understand a component to create a component we need to go to app and here we have a console exception http modules and provider but doesn't have a uh, component okay Com component view so when we execute command okay let me go it here go to my block and uh, go to cmd and when we execute a command okay here when we execute a command which is php artisan when we execute a command automatically it will create a view folder and inside a inside a view have a component okay so let me type a let me create a component so php artisan make and component component 
and our component name and uh, our component name is you can give any name i am giving logo you can give any name of your component and when you hit enter uh, it will create a okay it will create a view okay so let's open this and here is a component logo.php and it will also create a one more folder which is uh, resources and views and here is a component okay logo.blade.php so very simple uh, to create a component just remember this command let me show you which is this one php artisan make component and logo this command is very useful for creating component then uh, we need to access uh, this okay let's go back and uh, go to resources go to views and this is component and this is logo.blade.php let's open this in our code editor so in this page it doesn't have anything okay so you can create header you can create a footer you can make any functionality okay so this is just for logo so i'm putting a p tag and this is logo my logo my my logo okay and uh, we want to reuse it in our views okay so let's see how i'll make i'll reuse this logo.blade.php this is a component view and we will use we will make my logo and then our page of my logo uh, here we will put my logo and sign in page my logo sign up page my logo you can put anywhere this content this segment of code this functionality you can put anywhere okay so for that what we have to do just we need to go to resources where you want to uh, uh, put our component view so we want to put sign up dot blade dot php and sign in dot blade dot php there's two views we want to use that logo component so let's drag it here and drop it here i think uh, this file is already there so for that we need to make this tag x minus and our component name and our component name is logo and let's close this one like this yeah mm, i think it's uh, right okay so let's save and when you refresh you can see my logo and then sign in page let's go to sign up page sign sign up but sign up page do doesn't we have a call this uh logo uh, component so this is my sign up page let's put it here and put it here x and then our component name component name and our component name is logo and this is just uh, like this logo.blade.php this is a view file okay so you can put using this tag so you can see my logo sign up.php and uh, let's sign in and hit enter so it's saying uh, my logo and uh, sign in page so it's a basic idea of component uh, there is a lot more uh, think about the component uh, you can check out the official website of uh, laravel there is a uh, lots of document to read and to understand uh, functionality about the component okay so let me uh, before to finish this uh, tutorial let me show you one more thing if you want to pass a peri uh, 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 variable okay uh, to your uh, component okay so for that what we have to do you can pass the variable you can create any uh, data you can pass so just put it uh, like this test and uh, make it uh, this is just for sign up 
okay this is just for sign up and let's copy and just paste it paste it here and this is for login we will pass okay we will pass this variable sorry this we will pass this variable to here let me show you app and we have a views and here is a component and logo dot php okay let's uh, let's open this here and here is my logo okay mm, yeah so to pass a variable just simply uh, make a property here just uh, data or anything just test it so make it a public private and protect it so i am putting it public and just put it uh, your variable which is this is test Let's copy and paste it here and just put a this dollar this test and our test variable and we can pass this data to this view which is logo dot component okay so here it is let me show you resources views components which is logo dot blade dot php let's drag it here and drop it here and just sim simply type a variable name so this is a it also support a blade templating okay so this is uh, we, I, I will also teach you a blade templating in laravel okay and just put it your variable test control s for save and when you refresh you can see login this is a sign in page okay so let me put it a sign in sign in s i g n sign in and refresh sign in and when you go to a sign up you can see this is sign up you can pass any variable uh, in a component okay so this is just a basic idea of component i hope you have understood uh, this tutorial and if you have any questions and doubts you can write a comment and if you like please give a thumbs up and uh, thanks many thanks once again uh, for coming here and watching my videos